Um, this is um, sad. This is really, really sad. Um, you see, here's the thing here. And I think this is what I, I, I need people to understand. For put me away. Because I because you see, there's a time when we can we can laugh and this is funny and so forth and ha 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 oh my gosh, look, look at hazard in it, fat sad. You know, look at the, the guy who you vouch for is trash and so forth. Like, cool, that's all well, well and good. But we need to just stop the laughs and just be serious and look at the reality of the situation here. And the reality of the situation that we have is that you have the very possibility that a guy's career is over. And we have to look at it from a football fan's perspective. You see, my people forget. People seem to forget. People think, oh, you, you just have to start a fanboy. Before 2018, before I woke up in 2018, I always said, no, Sanchez is better than Hazard. I said, Hazard... He's talented, but he doesn't have the mentality or the psychology, and we'll get there. We'll get to that mentality and psychology. My issue with Hazard was all this talent in the world has amazing talent, but it just doesn't have that kind of hardcore, cutting edge men men mentality to really take the game by the scruff of the neck. Hence why he was just a talented guy who was really good, but you don't really want him as your main guy. Because I always say football, you know, 70-75% um, mental psychology, how you apply yourself on a, in a on a mental perspective, your character. But when he just saw that walk, I think he finally realized, that, oh, wow, I can't be that guy. I should be that guy. I should be slightly more greedy. I should slightly take things in so my own hands. His final season for, for, for Chelsea, amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a way to end off your season. When you look at just his overall performance and his contribution to Chelsea throughout the whole season. So moving to Real Madrid, it's made sense. Real Madrid just, just don't go ahead and buy scrubs. When Real Madrid announced a major signing, it's because, no, this is that dude. Whether it was Ronaldo, whether it was Kaka, whether it was Cristiano, even Robert back in the freaking day. When they make this big thing and announce them, it's supposed to be big deal. Freaking Zidane, Bale. So my excitement was coming from a football fan's perspective of, my gosh, imagine what this guy can do. Because I always say, say to guys, that hey, I'm a complicated Chelsea fan and I am... An extremely problematic, suffering, super eagles in Nigeria fan. But I'm a football fan above everything else. Okay, but above everything, I'm a football fan. I'm always here for football. And I was like, my gosh, this now would make it interesting. We know about Messi. We know about Cristiano and his goal scoring and so forth. But the thing now was, okay, now we're now bringing in... Um, we're now bringing in a um, hazard into the conversation, you know. So, if we now bring that in, sorry, if we now bring that in, it's like, oh my gosh, wow. So, we now have Hazard, we now have Neymar, we now have Messi, we now have Mbappe, like maybe putting Cristiano in there. So, it now makes the footballing conversation, it's like, who is the best? A lot better because the more amazing players we have, the more interesting the conversations are, the more um, the 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 more dynamic they are. Different arguments, different players, players that, that bring different things. So it was like, what's now has it now going to do at Real Madrid? How is he now going to combine with Benzema? How is he going to maybe forge this team in, in, in his own lights and bring something different as opposed to Cristiano? And what we've just seen is injury upon injury upon injury. The thing here is this, guys. A player that flops, who is fully fit and so forth, and he flops, oh, that's all on you, bro. You can't blame it on the coach or the, or the system. Football is football. If you're that good, you can say, oh, it's the tax, it's the rule. No, 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 no. It's on you. Morato, you flopped at Chelsea. You know, Robin, you flopped at Real Madrid. <laughs> you know? Um, you can ask me that. Rick Henry probably flopped at Barcelona. Mendieta as well. Many top-tier guys who've made that massive leap to clubs, they, they, they have flopped. You know, people argue, look how they flopped at Man United. So, it has happened before. But the key thing with this hazard situation is he's not even been given the opportunity to flop because he's not even had a full season where he's had to play. And you can tell, I can look at body language. 
And I can tell that any time that he's, let's say, come back from, from fitness, you can see he's fearful. And you can see that he plays, because, you know, he doesn't only really play without freedom. Because you're seeing that he's playing very carefully. And now he's trying to overextend himself because he's fearful of what if I get injured again. And you can't play like, like that. If you're a football player, you can't play in a way where you're like, let me hope that I... No, you, you play 200%. You give everything. You leave everything on that pitch. You know, when you cross that white, white line, you leave everything. Every single thing, animal on that pitch. So you cannot, especially top tier football, you cannot play at 99% or 98%. You have to play at 150, 200 per, per, per percent. So it's... The reality right now is I don't see how he comes back from this because remember what I said before about men mentality and character. Um, the dude, a key thing about coming back from injuries, and I think I've read this and doctors have said this is that it's about the patient's mentality. You have to have positive energy and profound belief that you can come through. If you don't, it makes rehabilitation harder. <laughs> you know, my fear is Hazard doesn't have a strong mentality. And I think that is always what has really held him, or what held him back for so many years at Chelsea. And perhaps to an extent at Belgium is that he's one of those guys that has lent upon his talents. It's not so messy where your talent has always pulled you through. But because of your lack of a strong mentality and a strong character, you've not been able to really take that extra step. And I think for Hazard, he's maybe realizing that, yeah, um, I think this, it's over now. And I don't see a desire for him to believe that, oh, no, 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 I still believe. goes back to a point that Philippe Luis was, was making when he said, Man, wow, look, I looked at Hazard and... Um, I just looked, saw him at training and I was amazed by his application and how good he how amazing this guy was. This guy was as good as Messi and Felipe Luis knows Messi very well. But he said that he just doesn't come across to me as somebody who really wants to, um, basically he doesn't come across as somebody who really wants to be the best. Because what I say about Cristiano, me and Cristiano, we may have our disagreements and so forth, but one thing I value in Cristiano is that mentally, he's one of the strongest players mentally out there. As in, he has a profound belief and he will never give up and he is a guy that will always 1,000% apply himself. He will, he will be at that World Cup. As much as I don't want him to be, he will be at that World Cup 100%. That's what Hazard lacks. That strong, profound mentality. And you need that in football. You need that. So, but the point I wanted to make is, this is sad on a footballing level. Forget about me. Forget about me. Don't just use me as an excuse to clown a guy whose massive career move to Real Madrid has gone up in flames. And for you guys saying, fat, sad, this guy's useless whatsoever, cool. But then... I ask you that, are you just one of those guys who just, you, 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 you have a um, desire just to plan people, or are you a football fan? Because if you're a football fan, you should be sad. Because this is an extremely talented football player who we will be denied the chance of seeing at the top le level. You know? <laughs> because, you see, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the home. Of football analysis. It's not the home of bounce analysis. This is not the home of clowning analysis. The home of so I'm always, always about football. And a fully fit, fully functioning hazard playing at this top at his, the top of his level for Real Madrid would be extremely interesting. And would make the Champions League super interesting, would make La Liga super interesting. So but I don't see how he comes back from this because I, I truly believe that he himself has given up. And if he gives up mentally, you can't come back from it. Because 
if he's fit again in five, six, seven, seven weeks, he won't play as full strength. He will always play with the back of mind that, now nah, I'm going to get injured again. No, let me be, be careful. And if you play careful, careful like that, you are of no use to anyone, especially Real Madrid. Real Madrid can only have you if you're giving in full on. Um, it's sad. I am sad. Um, I've not even read the details of the injury because I didn't even want to. So people have been sending it to me on Instagram and Twitter. I've just ignored it. Um, but I just thought, you know what? I wanted just to put this video out there. Just say, you know what? Um, for, forget about me. This is, not, this is not about me. Okay, just put me to one side. Put my whole zap into one side. As football fans, this is a great loss. Like that feed. Subscribe.